Before you continue watching this video, I just want to say that this video contains the solution to this challenge. Before you jump ahead, I highly recommend you to read the challenge and understand it and answer some of the questions that we have asked. What are the classes that should exist? What are the attributes for each of these classes? What are the actions available to these classes? Now, the best way to learn programming is to think. To think before jumping ahead with the solution. Let the solution video be something to validate your understanding. Um, and in this case, because it is your first time doing OOP, it's okay to reference the solution and use it as an inspiration to write your own code. The purpose of this challenge is to learn about object-oriented programming. And therefore, we are not exactly building an inventory management system that is, that is going to be user-friendly. We're going to write driver code that would sort of help you validate some of the features that you have implemented, but there won't exactly be any interfaces for your average end user to use. Now, let's jump to the solution. There are three different classes, product class, warehouse, as well as a store. We need a way to test if a lot of this code that we have written works. To do that, we're going to write some driver code. First, we create a camera store. Then we create the warehouses available for this camera store. Then we make a product add the product to a specific warehouse. And then, you know, what we're really trying to do here is to check if any of the products that we are searching for exist in this store. And then we would, you know, print out where exactly the product is located. So before jumping into too much of code, I'm just going to run the code and let you see how uh, this works. So I've named the script um, ims.py. I'll just run it. And it says there are one Sony RX100 for sale. Not exactly grammatically correct, but we'll ignore that for now. The product itself can be found at 5 Jalan Damansara. So this line, this output right here, there are one Sony RX100 for sale is coming from line 70. And the next line of output 5 Jalan Damansara comes from line 76. Okay, perfect. Now let's take a look at the code. Within product itself, I have two different attributes, the product name and the product description. And for warehouse, there are also two attributes, location and what are the products in this warehouse. For store, there are also two different attributes, name as well as warehouses. Now let's dive a bit into the methods that exist. For product, I don't have any methods, uh, but for warehouses, I have two. Add product and remove product. Now I have initialized products to be an empty list. And when I call add product to a specific warehouse, I would pass in a product and then append it to this empty list. Likewise, I could remove a product like this. And for store, I have a method called add warehouse. So I would just pass in a warehouse object in this case, and it would append uh, to this list. So if I call it for a second time and pass it a new warehouse, this list would contain two different warehouses. Lastly, this method check product availability uh, takes in the product name and it will look through, you know, all the products that are available within this store and return a list of dictionary. That's it. I'm not going to get too much into the explanation. What I want you guys to do is use this as an inspiration, write your own code ideally, and sort of play around with it, you know, add different functionalities as well as attributes uh, that you think should exist.